<laughs> oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I did. Dr. Puss are mediocre. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, everybody. In case you didn't realize, last week we didn't have an episode. Oopsie. <laughs> Not only are we dumb, but we're, stupid. we're also a bunch of losers. We are a bunch of losers. Yeah. We recorded with no audio, so rookie mistake. Our fault. Sorry, yeah. guys. Not winning uh, the People's Choice Award. Uh, your fault. Your my, fault. My <laughs> fault. Just kidding. I will say my fault. Yeah. Well, yeah, we brought audio. we brought you in to run the equipment, and you didn't even do your job. Yeah, you brought the least tech savvy guy in to run the technical stuff. Yeah, but if you weren't equipped for the job, you should have been like, "I can't do that." <laughs> well, no, I can press the button, dude. That's I've, for sure. I've been told you always interview for jobs you're not qualified for. Yeah, and then you fake it till you to make it. Fake right? it till you make it. Oh, absolutely! It Look takes so long for them to fire you. Look at Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I faked Rocks. it for two months and then became part owner in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking and fucking rolling, man. God, if only things worked out that way all the time with other right? shit. Yeah. How'd you end up being the CEO? Well, funny story is, <laughs> I don't know. I had no idea what I was doing. My buddies bet me to go apply for a CEO position, and here I am. No, we, uh, so we fucked up that episode. So sorry, guys. You had no content last week. We went down to the Iowa Podcast Awards, which was a fucking great time. That was fun. We had an awesome time. We met some super cool people. Very well put together Our, uh, uh, award show. I felt like I was at the fucking Oscars and yeah, shit. Yeah, it was MTV it was Music something. Awards. Yeah, it was an actual like, Award show. Yeah. It was, it oh, was yeah. cool. Big, big deal. People were all dressed up. I mean, the ladies' I voice the announcing most, and shit. Yeah, I was the most underdressed well not the most there were some people in t-shirts there yeah but like i wore a je nice jeans and a button-up and i felt so underdressed yeah compared, you were. To, you compared were. to some of the people there mm -hmm. i knew you were gonna look like a piece of shit i you? knew it too as soon as i saw you whip out that polo hold on, hold hey on, hold on hey i brought jeans we, <laughs> we could have made colby look like the biggest piece of shit the there. biggest piece of shit he tried to dress up but Colby doesn't like to wash his clothes. <laughs> you know, funny thing. Funny thing. His is. white dress shirt had the dirtiest collar. There and was armpit stains. stains. On his See, in Colby's was... in Colby's eyes, <laughs> is that if you put it in the garment bag, it magically cleans itself. Dude. And so when you pull it out, it's ready to go. <laughs> yeah. You don't that's have they, to wash. That's what nice they call yeah. dry cleaning. Yeah, that's so... dry cleaning. Yes, yeah, dry cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll people get, actually own businesses just to do that. Right? They don't pay them to dry clean their clothes. I'll yeah. give you that, guys. Uh, that it was pretty fucking gross. I was, did not check before I left. I just assumed that my white button-up shirt that was in the dress bag was ready to go, and it was definitely. If you could imagine like somebody coming home and his wife seeing the collar filled with hooker fucking lipstick all over the collar, Stripper that's glitter. that's what it's like. Except the lipstick is dirt. And the, the hooker used just a dirt lipstick <laughs> and just fucking smeared it. Ooh, or poop. Pooped, wow. Poop, 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 poop lipped all over your collar. It was definitely probably sweat. It is what it was. But it, it, was, yeah. it was like a dark brown. <laughs> it's so it's sweat, but it's also like you put that on after work, didn't shower, and your sweat pushed the dirt into your collar. Sound accurate ish? I don't know. It's very possible. <laughs> it's very possible. Have, you ever, have you ever sat behind somebody that <clears> you <throat> could just see like they have they've never put a washcloth or soap on their neck, mm -hmm. like the back of their neck, yeah. and it's just dirt in yeah. there? And like I that's imagine what my that's shirt like. what it looked like. That's yeah. what my shirt looked like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh I was kind of in a little bit of a panic there after uh the, the boys decided to point that out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but thank God for Coles. 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 I ran. Coles. <laughs> I ran down the road to Coles, and lo and behold, they had some fucking nice dress shirts, and I bought one. And I was like, you did get a nice one. I did get a nice but one. But I wish. It was so funny because you were so excited about your white shirt and pink yeah. suspenders and pink bow tie. Yeah. Like you were so happy, and then you walked in on me and Brandon making. Doing a Snapchat Make video, <laughs> making fun of you. It's like, I got to go somewhere and get a shirt, don't I? Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? It all worked out, though. You know, the, except we didn't win. We so did, maybe you should have wore it. Maybe it would have so been a lucky shirt. We were up for 
three awards. We were up for, I know we kind of explained this before. We were up for Best <laughs> Entertainment Podcast, People's Choice, and Podcast of the Year. Uh, two of them we lost to the same podcast, which was Confused Breakfast. Mm-hmm. If you guys haven't heard of them, they are out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Awesome bunch of dudes. We met them, um, hung out with them, uh, did some bullshit, and uh, they've had Burt Kreischer on their podcast, and Burt Kreischer has had them on his podcast. Yep. Um, pretty cool dudes. Uh, they definitely have a good a good podcast. It's worth watching. They do, like, reviews on movies and uh old 80s and 90s and movies and stuff yeah so we lost to them um and then uh people's choice which was cool they actually gave the top 10 based on percentage of votes and k love you bye we ended up in eighth place out of how many did they say fucking over 190 or something like 190 that, that were, were voted yeah there's so, like 600 and something in iowa though we didn't win, but you guys are fucking awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, everyone that went and voted for us, because that made my dick hard when they said, K love you buying the top ten. I was like, God damn. Yeah. We didn't even get to hear it because all Colby was doing the entire award show is just Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah. I was drunk howling. Yeah, I was oh, <laughs> I was really wanting to hear what they were putting up. Cause when they announce it, they you know, they show everybody like a little clip or whatever from their show. And it's like, oh, okay, let me buy it. And I was really wanting to hear what they put in there. And then all I hear is, in this year. And it's like, oh, there's a video of it. Let me go see if I can get it there. Nope. Nope. Colby's right by the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was drunk, Colin. Hey, I was excited, man. I get excited over really simple stuff. So it's fine. It's not simple, though. It's a big deal. <laughs> I feel like. It, well, it is a big deal. But, you know, the fact that we were on the. The old Megatron up in the front. Yeah, I was pretty excited about Rhodes that, so. actually doing a podcast of the or creator of the year, not podcast, but creator of the year. And I, I saw but, that yeah. in the email I finally got uh, signed up for. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll see if yeah. we get nominated because I did I did read in there after I had submitted that something about like no uh, like language and stuff or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, well, yeah, but em. I mean that's subjective. You know, no, I don't know. Fuck them. We'll, see if, <laughs> <laughs> well don't say it yet. We don't. We won't know until October first, roughly. Fine. I mean, name one adult in this planet that doesn't cuss, and they probably don't listen to any popular podcasts that draw revenue to anybody. That'd be one to bet. Okay. Um, I bet there's, well, I bet, so there's a lot of, like, different podcasts. So, like, the lady that was there to, at the uh, awards thing, she does a Christian podcast. I doubt there's any cussing on that. Yeah, I mean you're you're probably right. And I don't know if she makes revenue or not. You're, I would assume probably not. Oh, I'm not we were, saying we we're fairly new. I bet yeah. she but says I bet damn. There are some. There are quite a few like Christian podcasts no, and stuff I'm, like that. Yeah, that I do. I do agree money. with you. I'm just saying, in the realm of like big podcasts, that like so Road wants to pick one podcast to put their their kit and caboodles in. You know what I mean? Like. There's everybody that follows that one podcast probably swears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like that. I know there's podcasts out there where there's no cussing and no vile right. language and whatever, but family friendly for, for the most part, <laughs> I'd say a lot of the major ones out there, you know, your Joe Rogan's, your fucking, your mom's house, like fucking call her daddy. What's like, the other mm-hmm. one that you watch all the time or listen to all the time? Oh, uh, uh real uh real af with annie frisella yeah i mean yeah all, all these the time big podcasts that like millions of people listen to every single person that listens to them fucking cusses so yeah fuck them i mean it, it's whatever if we if we don't they, i mean they're giving you get a lot of sh- cool shit if we let right. there's, there's like money and there's all kinds of like creator tools like what is it the they're well they're giving away road stuff so they're giving away like procaster or roadcasters i mean and microphones and mm-hmm. stuff yeah. i know what you're thinking you just it would be cool you just remind it is on there it is it's on there the new it's it's on under there as a you just reminded me of a yeah. secret it's un, it's <laughs> under there as a non not released product yet ah. i know a secret yeah god i i fucking hate knowing secrets and shit sometimes No, because you're really bad at keeping a secret oh so you bad you are literally the worst person ever to tell a secret to yeah 
That's unless unless you're wanting it to get out, like secretly wanting it to get out, you should never tell you a secret. No. no. It's hit or miss. No, you know, it's pretty no, much miss. It's pretty no. much. No. There's there's some secrets people will tell me and I've never seen I've never fucking even thought about it twice. I'm but just saying if I secrets, murdered if I murdered somebody, I'm not telling you that you, I murdered somebody. If you murder somebody, I'm not telling you that I murdered. I would somebody. literally, I would, I would if, literally he, if I'm using him to help me clean it up or something, because then dude, he's involved, right? And then he'll keep it a secret. If you murdered somebody and you told me, I would brain dump it, and it would never be even thought about again. See, your now track if you record, told me, your track record does not prove that. Yeah, something that big. There's no yeah, way dude. you're data dumping that. That now, is with you. You're gonna go to bed. No. and You're be like, Dad, I can't believe you killed yeah. that guy. Yeah, no. I tell somebody. I accidentally just tell Jaden right there, like, fuck, no. he killed that guy. I'm not supposed to say anything, dude. Yeah. But he did it. He didn't even say it in his own yeah. mind, just out loud. <laughs> Who okay. killed what? Okay. Oh. If you came up to me and said, "Dude, I got to tell you something. It's really been on my heart. I need to fucking get it out. It's hurting. I got raped." I would never tell a fucking soul. Lies. Now, if you came up to me and you were like, "Hey, dude, don't tell anybody," but uh, me and Kyler are getting ready to have a baby. I might let that one slip because I'd probably be excited for you. Anyway, so yeah, no, I can keep secrets. It just, it depends on the secret. If it's something that's going to come out soon and it's something really big and exciting for somebody, I can usually hold it, but sometimes I'll slip to like Jaden or close friends and family. But if it's something that doesn't need to ever be spoken about, oh, dude, it's fucking, it's locked down. It's funny. You're just like Kylie's dad. Because he is notoriously cannot keep a secret, and he doesn't do it on purpose. Like he just like he will get so all excited. he'll get all giggly and excited, <laughs> and like <laughs> accidentally, accidentally like slip up and say it, and not even realize he did it. And then everybody just looking at him. You just told what you're not supposed to. That's that reminds me. Like, oh. <laughs> That's funny because when I was a kid, my parents were separating, and they're like, I was getting on the phone with my grandma, and they're like, "Do not tell her that we're separating." I was like, "Okay." And she's like, hey, Brandon. I was like, hi, Grandma. Guess what? Mom and Dad are getting a divorce. <laughs> totally yeah. forgot by that point, like five seconds later, you know? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> They're like, shit. I was like, it's she didn't hear. She's deaf. I don't know. What if they sent all these podcasts that were in, like, certain nominations to, like, really famous people that they are just networked with? And all these people, these famous people, like, saw all of our shit. Why would they do that? I don't know. I highly doubt they would do that. Why? What do they get from it? I don't know. Exactly. Um, <laughs> why do you, you got to get mean, something they from get it? More exposure that's for people... their, they'd get more exposure for their award ceremonies. So, like, next year it could be bigger, bigger sponsors, bigger. Maybe. You know? Maybe. I mean, but, yeah, I doubt they did that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hope. There'd be too year... many podcasts that we through. be like, how, who do I want to send them? But I will say, <laughs> I think that it is reaching more, like, not just people in Iowa are seeing the that award ceremony. I mean, it Dude. that award ceremony is reaching yeah. probably all over the U.S. Dude, I mean, it's uh, in, I in have a, way. a feeling that thing's going to get pretty big. Yeah, I think because we got in on it. We're not like the at only the ones. Perfect time yeah. to think like, about it. We're not the only ones talking about it on our podcast. And what there was on, over a hundred something podcasts on yeah. just that sign-in sheet. Yeah, I mean, oh, there's a yeah a bunch. Yeah. There probably every single one of them, especially the people that were there are probably going to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I guarantee I, I've already heard because uh, the Skull Hop, you know, they mentioned us in their, yeah. in their description and stuff. And you're they, welcome. They yeah, they which mentioned. speaking yeah. of, speaking of. Yeah, if you're if a Vikings you fan, got, go check out the Skull Hop. I'm, I'm not a Vikings fan. I'm not going to go listen to them. But so they're good dudes. I was go a, I was a Vi- I'm a Vikings fan, and I got to sit down and watch the uh, 49ers Vikings game with them um, right before they did went on and did their live podcast. And uh, they're really cool dudes. Um, and they they did a basically a live reaction right after the game. And uh, I really enjoyed what they had to say. Um, they were good. They were very knowledgeable. You and would. Uh, oh yeah, they had a good time with it. So I think uh, Colby's talking shit over there, but just because he's a Bears fan. Yeah. yeah. No, and, I mean uh, those I think, guys have a great podcast, yeah. but that's a well put together podcast. It, yeah. yeah. The the only thing I don't like about the podcast is the content they're talking about. It's the Vikings. <laughs> right. Which I mean, they're, yeah. they're, dude, they know their shit. They are straight up Vikings fans and they're diehard. And yeah, I caught myself sitting in there like <laughs> wanting to chime in while they were doing their live live podcast. And it probably would have been fine, but like yeah. 
not my podcast so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i right. wanted to be like oh yeah my they talked about like roses and thorns like good parts and bad parts of the uh, the game and i wanted to like throw my two cents in like it right. oh yeah that was that was really good really enjoyed that it would have been an awesome opportunity for them to like because you are a vikings fan and you were sitting there it would have been a good opportunity if they've never had guests on their podcast to like have a guest right. to just do like a three-way vikings mingle you know that would have made it cool but yeah it's yeah. their podcast, and it, that was a big moment for them to do a live, you know, at the podcast yeah. award. So it's yeah, you know, they nailed it. Not, I mean, they absolutely. had a good time with it, and yeah. you know, they did some things that I would like to have probably. One of them could have been better on the push ups, but push it. nobody's gonna, <laughs> yeah. nobody's gonna bitch. I, yeah, it was fun though. I really wanted to watch the mainstream podcast when we were there. We didn't get to watch them because I think yeah. they were the last one. And we had to go get ready and all this back. fucking shit. Yeah, those guys also were really cool. I mean, we during the whole award ceremony, we sat and talked to them, and yeah, you know, they, yeah. Uh, uh, I exchanged numbers with him, the one uh, Josh, I believe his name was, and uh, so I'm gonna communicate with him. And they were talking about doing a live podcast and. Uh, Iowa City for November 2nd for the yeah. Iowa game. So if we do that or get that put together, I will not be able to be there, unfortunately. I got a wedding that weekend, my cousin Bryce. Mm. Well, I told him even like, <laughs> but you know, we, we don't have a podcast, but I mean, I would like to, to go there and then, yeah, you know, it'd be just, cool to just see him. That, collab that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Let you guys learn some more about some other people in podcasts that you haven't heard heard about through us and that'd be that'd be awesome because those guys they would love to have new subscribers followers especially if, hang out with them and if you're versa. trying to support your local yeah they're they're podcasts, iowa, they're podcasts, iowa podcasts, you know? we love iowa you guys hopefully love iowa that's unless you're not from here and then that's cool then that's cool <laughs> i guess i mean <laughs> you're like the redhead stepchild we'll let you hang out but you ain't getting to eat at the table <laughs> I think the coolest Fuck thing you. about the the Why whole you always do that to me. <laughs> I think the you. coolest thing about that whole day was the fact that like learning about all those those new pod or those different kinds of podcasts like yeah. the uh, dream one that oh, was cool yeah. the, the revelations the revelations like yeah. that was a cool one yeah that that's was, a, that was a great idea that is a great idea because everybody is always like God what the fuck was that dream about you know. Yeah. yeah, I know. I do it all the time. It's like Jesus Christ, what the yeah. fuck? Well, I told you about my dream the other night. Which one? The one where I like, you know. So I've been checking my phone. Oh like yeah, crazy, right? And I had a dream that I just opened my phone and checked, and it was like exactly what I was looking for. Right. And I woke up, and I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. But your dream did not it, come true, dude. It's it's like what you know? What does that mean? Well, it's just, like what? What's so I think that dream is just <clears throat> that shit's just on your mind constantly. So it's probably something that you're thinking about just while you're sleeping and hoping. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. usually like the like your teeth falling out. Those are like dreams that have some sort of me. I can't remember what it is, but that's like uh, there has something behind it. I can't remember exactly. What I want to know what it means when you have those fucking dreams where you're beating the shit out of somebody, right? And you're <laughs> you're hitting them with fucking everything you got. Like just you can't hit them any harder and it's like you're not even hurting them mm -hmm. you know what i mean have you ever had a dream like that where you're like yeah. you're beating the shit out of somebody I feel but it's like you not need even to stop beating your wife <sighs> he wakes up and Jaden's all bloody <laughs> yeah. and shit i don't know I, dude I've, she wasn't even moving i swear <laughs> i don't have those very often but i i like when i do i wake up and i'm so fucking mad i it's like all i wanted to do was fuck that dude up yeah and every every fucking hit was like nothing was well, the and same it was like it's the same thing I with had. bullets sometimes in dreams where they just like they're like rubber and they bounce they off bounce them and off. shit yeah like what is i don't know maybe it's your and conscious being like stop you're you don't hurt you're, people you're, or it's i think stop it's people. more along lines of your it's your subconscious telling you you're inadequate <laughs> you are nothing you, you are, are just nothing. a tiny piece of shit can't even win a podcast award <laughs> fucking loser fucking loser fucking have loser. you ever had the sleep paralysis no oh i've had that like twice what is that where like you sounds scary or you feel yeah. like you're wide awake like you don't even know that like you went to sleep so i've i've had it twice i think and I was just watching TV in my living room. All of a sudden, like, 
somebody came from the back of my couch and like was beating the shit out of me or, you know, trying to abduct me or something, but I couldn't move. Like I was just, and I would wake up and then like, I was like looking around, nothing. So then I'm just sitting there watching TV again. And all of a sudden I'm right back into that and yeah. can't move again. Can't move again. Like this person is fucking with me, but I wake up nothing. And I just, I would just keep going into the cycle probably like five or six times. So I finally like stood up and walked around my house. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if I've had like that exact scenario, but I've had those, those dreams where like, you just feel like dead weight. Yeah. You like, can't you're move like, at all. You're like yeah. trying to, and you just, and you're so relaxed that it's almost like your body, your body's falling asleep or like your arms are going numb or something. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, the fuck? Yeah. See, mine felt like I wasn't even asleep. It just felt like I was still just watching the same show. I wonder like, if those are like the dreams you get when you just like quit breathing while you're sleeping. Like CPAP fucking sleep quit breathing. Man. Yeah. And it's like your body, like you're like. <laughs> that was, I was just thinking like, I just did it myself. Now you got me doing it. The next time we, we, uh do a podcast or do a next episode. We should do like a shots or something. for every time somebody says like, fuck uh, you, you literally said like <laughs> three times. I'm a, in five words. I'm a fucking teenage girl. I don't know what you want from me, dude. I, oh, I say it all the time. I, I can't always, not. I always start out with, I feel like, I feel like, I feel yeah. like. <laughs> well, that's a little what different. Like, when you, we're all like, cause what are you going to say? I feel as if right? like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel as if you could have handled that a little bit better, but when you're going like, and you're like, saying like, like, and you're doing like, and like that, mm, dude, like, it's that's so hard point. not to. Cause it's like, like <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's just one of those. You just gotta, you have to like, mm, see, that, you have to, you have to train, like train yourself. That makes me angry to think. If about we did it. a shot for everyone, maybe not a shot. Everybody would be just hammered drunk. Maybe oh, not yeah. a shot. We'd have to do my dick would be in the dirt. We'd have to do some things along the lines of, <laughs> Like, a, like <laughs> drink, um, a drink of beer. Or dude, look at how stupid you sound trying to not say. I know. And like, I usually don't say it that often. I'm usually pretty good about keeping myself from doing it. But I think when I'm around you, I and mean, it keeps going off and oh, off and off. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It's rubs my fault, off. Right? It is. Yeah. My fault. I got to fucking project it to somebody. Oh. Who else am I going to project it to? You know, it really sh is kind of sad that you are so weak minded of an individual. You let a poor sap like me rub off on you. He didn't say like one time in that sentence. Yeah, I was thinking you about how, it. Did you notice how slow he was talking? Yeah. <laughs> to focus on it? I know. That's harder than you think. No, I know it is. I yeah, say it oh, all I know. the time too. You're definitely, you definitely do it the most though. I should create a new word instead For like? of like. You such are pretty as, good at making up words. Maybe you I should, are. Maybe I should say dick instead of like. But how are you going to like, <laughs> how are you going to dick yourself dick. into <laughs> So it would be, it would be dick. If I were to say dick uh, <laughs> while I was explaining dick. You'd be talking super slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that's even worse. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling out my uh, shortcomings in this world. That's your only shortcoming. Many more. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's an obvious one. Yeah. I call that one out myself. Right. It's warm in here. I don't so, need anybody else to call that one out. Favorite part of the podcast awards? Free Go. booze. What, would you say free? Free booze. There was when no free did booze. did we get free booze? Oh, you didn't find the free booze? Well, I put it on your tab. The Skull Hop, yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. The Skull Hop got free booze. Yeah, yeah. dude, my, my fucking tab was fuck up there. I was like, geez. How much was yours? I was like 90 bucks. Yeah, mine was like 80. Was it? Yeah. How much was I yours? Mine was. Jeremy's like, I was putting it on my own ears. Yeah, I was putting it on both ears. <laughs> Why would I have a tab? I got, the, <laughs> I got the next one. Put it on Colby this time. Yeah. I will say, I mine probably wasn't as big. I think it was like 50 bucks because I was drinking Captain Diets and Colby was slamming them. You were drinking beer and I had had enough. I had had like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I don't need to be absolutely slobbery drunk. How many did I have? You quite a had, bit. Yeah, you were a couple ahead of me. You were pretty drunk though. And oh, I was. You had, I was. You had seven or eight? Uh yeah, I would say at least. I thought I had like six. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> that must be why I dropped that we had, pizza. We had two or three before we the <laughs> show even started. Yeah. Not to oh. mention you had some stuff earlier. You're right. Day. You're right. Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah, that's definitely why I dropped that pizza. You shouldn't let me fucking take control of that thing. Well, first of all, that pizza was dog shit. Yeah. That was probably the worst late night delivery pizza I've ever had. I tried so hard to wake Brandon up to take a bite of the pizza because yeah. I knew he was going to be disappointed. I still don't believe you. I don't remember any of it. So. Oh, yeah. Dude, he tried to wake you up so many times. I told him about <laughs> slapping him on the calf yeah. trying to get him up. I, we had you up on your elbows for at one point, and you like look back at the pizza, and, you're, and we're like, you want a piece? You're like, yeah. And you just right back down to that pillow. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. And then we were trying to get you put your fucking my mask on your pre- alien predator mask on. Well, so not only die. was I drunk, but I was also really tired. So the combination of the two kind of that happens when you get drunk and tired. Too drunk, you well, get pretty tired. I'm always <laughs> just really tired anyway. So usually we call that too drunk. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, normally the drunk takes over. The tired's not really involved at that point. No. <laughs> tired's always involved. You can make up all the excuses you want. We know what happened. Okay. So. Okay. Favorite you part. you didn't get free booze. <laughs> favorite part. I would have to say my favorite part of the experience was uh, networking and meeting the people that we got to meet. While we were down there. Yeah. You know, and just the the broad general, like, eye-opening, how many different people are doing the same thing we are. And how cool it is to see their journey. Seeing in, everybody on the different in levels. Different and stuff, level, yeah. Like, it, you know, you we do this and we give these episodes out to you guys every week. And, you know, we go through this whole journey of, like, are we ever going to be able to do this full time for a living? Are we going to make something of ourselves doing it? And you question everything. And then you go to something like this and you realize you're not, you're not the only one. There's a whole bunch of people that are in the same realm as you higher or lower or right where you are. But you know, it's just a, just a journey. And and it it really humbled me to like bring, bring back the have fun. You know what I mean? You almost think too much about like, Hey, we're, you know, you try too hard to like make something work. It's like, go back to just have fun, have fun with it. If you, if you've, no, that's what I took away from the whole thing. Just remember to have fun. And the people we met, you know, watching them have fun there. and It was cool. It was a great experience. I highly recommend it. Yeah, if we can go next year and do a live podcast, that'd be fun. What was yours? What was your favorite part? That was cool. Uh, it's really hard to pick a favorite because I liked a lot of it. You know, there was a, a lot of good information for some of the, like, seminars and everything. But yeah. I, honestly, the just the event itself was was fun. In a whole yeah well i meant i meant the at, at night you know the the oh, actual event for the war the ceremonies and stuff because yeah. it's just so i've never been a part of anything like that before you know and it was it was fucking fun it felt so sur- like felt really like you're in a music like a mtv music awards or something you know some shit like that yeah it felt it, like the sbs or something like that yeah where it felt that they, yeah. they really put it like they really put it together that was that was probably my favorite part too it is they really made they really me. put a lot of effort into putting that on they yeah. did they did they really did it and, it and it almost made me feel like it needs to be in a bigger venue where all of the nominees are like kind of down where we are and then like your family and friends and everybody that's a part of your podcasting life are also there to support you you know what i mean like i felt like that situation was one of those where it was like having like your fucking your core fan base your fans like your family and friends and shit there would be absolutely fucking killer yeah you, but how do you know how do you like they could have been there they could, they could have just bought tickets to go but how do you know when it's the first year and oh, i don't. mean the venue was the perfect size yeah. for that this yeah. year oh it was yeah you know next year if it like you know you they mean, might need to rsvp because for some shit, you know what I mean? You say know? say yeah. we would have won an award. Knowing what we know now, it would have been fucking killer to have everybody there with us. Right. You know what I mean? To to stand up there and be like, look what we're fucking doing. You know what I mean? Like, look at us. Like, go, go team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
keep looking at my armpits like I'm sweating again. You are sweating. Oh, oh he I, was. Oh, dude, I was Ooh, sweating. So that fierce. exact same. Maybe it's that shirt. <laughs> I that think exact it's, same shirt. I think it's the way this shirt fits my armpits, dude. It's got to be. No, I don't know, because you've definitely worn some other shirts in here that were the exact same. It's also pretty hot in here. It is pretty warm, yeah. You know, and when I was sweating... <laughs> Down Do you, there. You imagine if that shirt was white, the yellow stains that oh, would be on it. It would be stained. He he wouldn't be able to no, wear it again. I'd he be, would, I'd be but he wouldn't be it. able to. <laughs> he should. I'd be, I'd be bleaching it. You'd be what bleaching was your favorite it? part, Jeremy? I just said, like, the award ceremony. Just I thought that was just it, the yeah. way it was put together and everything. Like Brandon said, it was, I mean, it felt like an SB's type deal. Yeah. So I think next year it'll be a lot bigger cool. and a lot. Dude, it was super cool how they brought out like different people to announce winners of each category. My bad. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't know any of them. I wish we were deeper in like the realm of podcasting so we knew exactly like who every one well, was. I, I feel as though <laughs> a lot of those people were from down in that area. So they probably More are known likely. around there and stuff, you know? Yeah. So that's kind of how that went down. But maybe, I mean, maybe now that they have. They might, they might choose other people. I don't know. Yeah. Now that they, they have an idea of all the pot, because he even said that he didn't know that there was six hundred some odd fucking podcasts in Iowa. Right. Yeah, that is crazy. That's to a me. lot. That's one state, one small state. That's crazy to me, and to know that out of six hundred and something, we were number eight in People's Choice Award. Well, out of the entire state. Sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we, not all of them were in the awards, yeah. but. The ones, like, you got to think, like, you can't count the rest of them. They weren't even in the awards. We were. And right. we were top eight out of every podcast in the state of Iowa. That's fucking pretty goddamn cool. It is. And there's almost 700 podcasts. Yeah, when you want to look at the glass half thanks, full. Thanks to you motherfuckers that are listening to our dumb asses. I thought for sure Brandon would have had all of you fucking scared away fucking year ago. Why me? You're the fucking weirdo. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> yeah. well. Even Jeremy. <laughs> He's only laughing because you guys team up on me. Because he knows it's true. Okay. Because it's true. That's why. He's, yeah. That's why. Mm. Fucking. <laughs> Holy shit. Getting bombarded here. I just look over. There's 20 bugs in my face. Yeah. Bugs are good. They're about to all fuck. They're about to die. Dude. That's I can't terrible wait. Death. I can't wait. It's going to get cold. Hey, mm -hmm. so I almost got a tattoo this afternoon. I almost wasn't here to podcast. I was going to get a tattoo. But I was thinking earlier, you ever like stop? You were like talking to somebody about tattoos. You know, like that conversation where somebody's like, oh, hey, nice tattoo or something. And then it, um, it, I've it, never got that for my tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever said nice tattoo. Well, yeah. well <laughs> I can see that. I can see why. Uh Okay, Brandon. So you know when you're having that conversation with people that have tattoos, uh -huh. and you're like talking to people, and you're like showing them like your tattoos or whatever, and they're showing like yours, and then there's always like that one weirdo that jumps in and is like, "Hey, I got a tattoo right here, and I got it for my," and they start telling like this super long annoying story about the meaning behind their tattoo. You ever Absol had that happen? Absolutely, never had that happen. That's never happened to you. No, I feel like that happens. Like every time I have the conversation about tattoos, there's somebody that jumps in and is like, has to tell the backstory behind their tattoo. I think that is because of who you are. Because I feel like when people are talking to you and when you're talking, people get this, this idea that you're down to fucking just bullshit back and forth and blah, blah, blah. When people talk to me out in the open in the wild, they know I don't want to fucking talk to them. Yeah, you fucking you're I also you're shit fuck. I also feel that when people are telling you a story and it's long you, within 30 seconds of them telling the story, you get in your mind that you can't wait for them to shut the fuck up because you have something to say. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no. Absolutely. Like, Dude, no. I was explaining that and I could tell in your face like Shut up! I want to say. I something. gotta say something. Yeah. No. When I when I'm no. editing every every time, I have to process. You can, see, yeah. you can tell. I have to process what's being there it is. said. <laughs> you can tell because yeah. like we'll be having a conversation and you'll he I can hear him in the background. He'll be like, "What?" Uh, but, uh, uh, 
Ooh, I, have a st- I have something to say, guys. Look at me. Look, look at me. <laughs> <sighs> if I was a smaller man, I, my feelings would be really hurt right now, you know? <laughs> you guys, you know. But hey, it's true. You're lucky you're friends with somebody that can take it really well because... I shouldn't have not said that. <laughs> I should not have said that. I should not re- rephrase that a little bit. Yeah, I heard it as soon as I said it. As soon as I said it, that was not what I was going for. You guys are lucky I'm such a good friend. I yeah. could be a... Look at a, us. Just full of luck. I could be <laughs> Just thriving because you're such a good friend. I know. That's exactly right. I could be I could be one of them fucking you know, serial killer kids. It's like, make fun of me one more time, and I'm going to wait until you're not looking... And I'm gonna punch you with a knife. Well, we don't. We don't know. <laughs> we don't. That know you that. aren't. Yeah. I mean, you don't know if they're a serial killer until oh, they yeah, start dude, killing. I would have killed. I would have killed both of you already. If I was, <laughs> I, I That's not already true. Killed you. That's not necessarily true. Some serial killers like to get the the please, thrill of the. Please tell me how I would serial kill you. Some serial killers like to get into the 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 realm of. Man, I'm so close to them. I could kill them at any moment. Cat and, and mouse. I'm just, I'm just living this life. I'm so close right yeah. now, and I got a gun in my butt. I, can just I got a gun? Why is it in your butt, first of all? <laughs> That's what a serial killer does, dude. That's how they sneak that shit into places. Mm. I did. I have heard that. I they, heard they have to. If, in order to be a ser- serial killer, yeah. you yeah. have to sneak it in your butt. Yeah, yeah I mean, usually the, the son of Sam. He, how do you think he walked around New York fucking yeah. killing people? He fucking, had it in his fucking, fucking meat wallet. Fucking mm-hmm. Derringer. They uh, shoved that fucker right up in there. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, the Jesus has nothing to do with this. He needs to save you. He needs to fucking <laughs> save you first. Why? What do you mean? Why? Exactly. The, you that's are the question. An, you are an asshole to people. You're not nice. How? That's not true. You're at fucking all. rude to most people. Give me an example of being an asshole, rude to people, and not nice. Actually, give me three <laughs> reasons. Give me a reason for each of those. What? what when have I ever been an asshole to just people other than yourself? Other, you don't count. Oh, I don't count. I don't no. count as people. Yeah. See. I'm nice to people. Name one. Name one what? Name one people that you were nice to. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My point. Until they're. That's not your point. <laughs> it's literally everybody your, your until answer, they're not. Your until answer was dicks. everybody. What? I said, name one example of people you were nice to. And you said everybody. Everybody. I'm nice to everybody until I have a reason not to be. I was even nice to that one fucking dude that won the award. I was nice. I was like trying to like, oh, yeah, congratulations. And <clears throat> I don't even remember how I was drunk as fuck. So I don't remember how the conversation went. But I remember him being a real dick because he was. He, is that, do you remember that? I went dude, to the that bathroom. Wasn't oh, real, there was, that there was, was <laughs> there was something there was something like it was along the lines of. I said, you know, you know, oh yeah, you know, we're we're pretty new. He's like, oh yeah, how long? I was like two years. He's like, yeah, I've been doing this for two years too. And then he like did a little hair flip and walked away. I was like, what a fucking dick, dude! You should have kicked the high <laughs> heels out from under his fucking. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. I was drunk, Man. but I remember I do. You were there because I, I remember turning, be like, God, he was a dick. I didn't. Uh, I didn't notice that. I was. We were all conversating. He was like behind me, so I was like, well. Hey, congratulations, you know. Congratulations, yeah. That's how it started. And it ended with him being an asshole. Her. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I don't, yeah. That was, that's slippery slope. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how that one rolls, but, you know, good for them. Okay, well. I got pulled over this morning. You did, yeah. In your <laughs> minivan. Dude, In the I minivan. I forgot about the, that. Uh, <laughs> I saw your The Snapchat. minivan, um... <clears throat> has had kind of a rough start to ownership to its life. So I've had it for what, three weeks now. Mm -hmm. And I changed out the one headlight. Yeah. Cause that was trash. Right. When I got it, they had a, it must be a common problem because they had a headlight in the glove box. (laughs) So (laughs) something's going on there. Um, I just need to buy them in bulk, I think. Yeah. And then, uh, now you're talking bulb or the actual assembly, the bulb. Okay. Yeah. So you just Um, changed one. Always, yeah, because the other one was working. Always change two anyway. You always change both. I only both. had one. Well, well that's why you buy two. One. I didn't that's buy how, this that's one. Why oh, yeah, that's it was oh. in the glove box when that's I bought it. That's why you got pulled over. And you only changed well, yeah, I was, <laughs> That's part of the story because I got pulled over for no headlights. Anyway, let him tell his story. <laughs> right. Like okay. Mr. I have to jump in everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have stuff to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I have a microphone. And yet you're still talking. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, change out the bulb. Within the first week, <laughs> first week, I run over a fucking deer that had already been hit on the interstate. Yeah. Fucking ramp the van. Then a couple days later, hit a pheasant. A pheasant comes just flying out of the ditch into the windshield. Luckily, it didn't crack the windshield, but the pheasant took a tumble. Well, yeah. Very next day, bird, windshield. Like, I think a bird's going to fly through my windshield here soon. Probably. Then this morning, get in the van, no headlight. Fucking, I was like, ah, I'll be fine. Head to work. Fucking pull. I'm a block away from home, and I take, turn the corner, and I see the cop just sitting there parked. And so I go by, and I'm just waiting to see the fucking taillights. And sure enough, taillights come, and he just comes flying up on me. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Unnecessary. Just, yeah, like. That's a lot more dangerous than the one headlight. Yeah, and, that's how I got pulled over a dub. Yep. <laughs> and then there he is. I will say though, <laughs> it just sounded too familiar. I had to. I'm sorry. I will say though, cop, very nice guy, very pleasant. Got me. I mean, I was Warning. pulled over for yeah. <clears throat> I not even. I mean, he ran my license. It's so crazy that they take your registration and license and like. I know I don't have any warrants. I know I'm not like wanted for anything, but as soon as like he took my license and the registration back to his car, just to run them quick, I just go in my head like, fuck, what could I have warrants for? Like, what could I, yeah. do Dude, I have park, any like parking, parking ticket. tickets or <laughs> yeah. like, unpaid gotcha. fines and fuck, I'm probably going to go to jail today. Like I probably have a warrant for some stupid fucking thing. <laughs> You're calling, just, like, I know I don't. You're calling Kaya like, Hey, be prepared yeah. to get me out of jail. Like I know for a fact that I don't have any warrants, but that's like immediately what my, my mind goes to like, I'm not doing anything wrong. Like yeah. fuck. Where are the drugs in my car? I know I don't have drugs in my car. But, but I just like, bought this car. Yeah, what if? <laughs> <laughs> it always crosses my mind every time. He comes back and is like, it's not a big deal, you know, but uh, you, you might want to call your work. Just let them know. Yeah, I got to take <laughs> yeah. in, dude. I'll, I'll let you use your phone. Uh, you know, I'll be, you know, let you be cool with me. I'll be cool with you. If you could uh, just step out of the vehicle for a moment, that'd be nice. <laughs> what would have been really funny is that when he walked up to the car, if you would have hit the fucking roof and said, Padiddle. <laughs> <laughs> what is that game? I, I totally forgot about that. What so whenever it? you see a car that with a headlight, with out. A headlight out, oh, you, you get the roof fit at all. That would have been fucking hilarious. Yeah, what a he walks up, gets right to the edge of the car before he says anything, just like Padiddle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a free I will say though, like very pleasant conversation with him. Like Got me in and out of, on my way. Like, did you tell him about the podcast? Fuck you. Did he, I did not. Did he write but you a ticket or fix it ticket? Nothing. He just said, Morning, fix it. Yeah. Fi yeah, just nice. fix it whenever you can. He was looking, but, he wanted to smell that fucking alcohol yeah, on your breath. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The but fucking no, I mean, fuck those people that as soon as they get up to the window, they're assholes to them. Yeah. Like, the I, cops or the people? No, the people. Like, oh, yeah. The actual civilian people like because people think they're entitled to all these fucking right, special right shit no like i had a very pleasant conversation with him he was just doing his job i had a headlight out yes fucking sometimes you don't notice that you have a headlight out especially driving through town yeah like with the lights like right. it could have been uh some people drive through I town and they don't have their headlights on at all and they right. don't even realize it like mm -hmm. it could have helped out a lot yeah yeah i mean i knew i had it out but yeah know, people whatever. either way like Great if, conversation with a nice guy. I wish I would have well, known. Look, if, if you're you, pleasant with the cops and you just fucking just do what right. it needs to be done, shit will happen so smooth. Yeah. Look, you knew you had a headlight out. You drove anyway. And because of your actions on the road with the cop, you ended up going to work. No ticket. No warning other than a verbal, hey, just get it fixed. Right. Like... You broke the law. You right. drove with a fucking broke headlight. There is people that would turn your situation into them going to jail for assaulting a cop or like, something for some stupid bullshit. I didn't pull my phone out and yeah. fucking start recording. You're, you're being filmed you're right being now. Filmed. I didn't crack my fucking window so yeah. I, he could just barely fucking hear me. Dude, I, I pulled over. I rolled my window down and I didn't move in my car because I waited till he asked me for my shit. Like, come up to the window, ask me for my shit. All right, yeah, it's in my glove box here. Like, I'm not sitting there fucking moving around. I mean. I, I will say I have wanted to always, like, like when I get pulled over next time, 
have my phone out and be like, I'm recording you. And then be like, I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and but I feel it. like the wrong cop, like, they're going to be like, oh, funny guy. You well, I mean? and I feel like any more, <laughs> like, if that would have happened five years ago, like, maybe it would have been funny. But yeah. nowadays, they're like, Jesus fucking Christ. Because they probably yeah. get it every day. Oh, probably. Or I'm every sure. other day. I guarantee. And, you know, anybody Some they pull over. Billy ass. I was thinking to myself idiot. earlier, I was like, man, man, if Colby gets that Colby. tattoo and he's not there, there's going to be so much less editing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, anyway, that's I all the time. I literally was going to thank our editing team if we fucking won our awards. So. I know you were. That is all the time we got for tonight. Because I appreciate you. I appreciate you, too. I like giving you shit, though. Well. Just so, enjoy this. Enjoy this. Because one of these days, I won't be here. Sometime you should think about, like, maybe just toning it up a little more. Toning it up? <laughs> and, yeah, like, take it to the next level. You're getting pretty redundant with your bullshit-ass, fucking lame-ass. I mean, I find it funny. jokes. It's fine. It's, it's never not Take it to the talk next about, level, dude. Talk about redundant. He says dick on every single... Talks about a penis on every single episode at some point. Every, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have to con- hey. correlate with yeah. anything. Which is so weird. I don't know. He just loves them so much. <laughs> you know, they... They really are fucking kind of like weird creature looking things, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, if I was a woman, I'd totally be a lesbian. Yeah, like, <laughs> but, well, but dude, eat, like even a vagina. You look at a vagina and you're like, that. I mean, honestly, vaginas are super gross. They look like a fucking predator. They are gross. Like, I love them. All they need is like just <laughs> but, those. But if you think about it, a vagina is pretty gross, dude. They just need those little like four claw looking things that come out, and it's the predator. Oh yeah, there's a little you, mouth, yeah, mouth. like the the little there's a little mouth talons. Yeah, and yeah. it's like okay, yeah, okay, a penis right doesn't look the nicest, but no fucking the fucking the vagina. They're both gross. Honestly, it's, men men and women genitalia is fucking disgusting. It's stupid. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it serves its purpose. Love them both. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dabble in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you got to make sure you figure out which one's for you, you know? Yeah, you got to test the water, so they say. <laughs> what, are you, what the fuck is going on with you? <laughs> that, was, that was one of the funniest things I think I've ever heard you say. Because <laughs> I know it's true. You know, you testing both of them. Oh, sir, I never told secrets. <laughs> Just kidding. I like vagina. Well, you told me about the fucking roommate you had in college that time. <laughs> First of all, that's a day cook joke I stole. That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a day cook joke. <laughs> anyway, that is all the time we have for tonight. What was his name? Dane Cook. No, your roommate. <laughs> I never had a roommate. <laughs> Has Jeremy ever heard that story? Yes. Yeah, we told it like one of the first <laughs> times he was here, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. The first time Brandon hit me with that, I mean, I fucking, I was like, what? <laughs> Loser. Yeah, I know. And then he fucking hit the punchline. And I was like, God damn, you're fucking slick, dude. We need to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> we were like a, a year and a half into our relationship. I was like, we need to be friends, man. <laughs> That was fucking classy. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, yeah. So fine. that's all the time we have. Hopefully, uh, if we that's get it. this road nomination, they have a People's Choice <laughs> Award type thing, too, so we can yeah. throw you guys under the bus again. And you can vote to, for us again. Not trying to be beggars, but. Yeah, fuck. Well, I mean, fuck, yeah. dude. You get hey, some cool shit. I will say this no matter what. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of the f- people that went out and voted for us. Yes. It was awesome. We had the, a great time. We wish all of you could have been there with us. Um, we're we're gonna be back next year, so be ready for it. Yep. Uh, hey, stay tuned for we have a big episode coming up. We have we're gonna have our first interview, full time guest interview, full time guest. Well, like <laughs> I don't know, I said that weird. Yeah, our first <laughs> guest as all of us together, not just like Tempe filling in for Brandon. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna uh, be a real. Real go. Everyone's going to want to listen. It's going to gonna it. be an awesome, awesome interview. Hopefully, we, it'll uh, be the next one that's out, but we'll see. It might be. Yeah. We, uh, we got to talk about it. Stay tuned. Make Mother sure. bitch. Tell you, hey, no, you. Something yeah. bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay God tuned. Damn. It's coming um, within the next week or two. We're going to have uh, a, a really good episode for, uh, for all you guys. 
Um, and with that being said, to uh, please go subscribe, share, uh, like everything. Just help us out. Yeah. Help us help you. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, it's so redundant, but please do it. It, it is helps. redundant. It helps a lot. So yeah. Until next time. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. I like it. <laughs> love you guys. We love you. Love you guys. You look at me wasting that. Oh, Caleb, bye. Caleb, bye. I was trying to tell you about that real shit, boy. You real shit, boy. You real shit, boy. Look, 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 receiving our head. Look, receiving our head. Look, receiving our head. Been around, burn out, flow it to the penthouse. Shotties going crazy, then they quiet like a church mouse. Stand up with the customs, and we never get to get it out. Let you go. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoopsie! I did. Her puss are mediocre. <laughs>